Number 47, determine the molarity for the following solutions, and then we have letter A. So in this case, we need to find the molarity if we were given 0.44 moles of COCl2, and that's all in 0.654 liters of the solution. Okay, well, this one is just a formula. Whenever they're looking for molarity, we're, we're either dealing with a couple of formulas, right? But in this case, I only have one amount of my moles in one liter, right, one volume. So, bam! This is the formula that we're going to be talking about. Now, this is the full-blown equation, right? You guys should have seen this before, right? Molarity equals the amount of moles of your solute divided by your liters of solution. But to cut it down, all you have to think of it is capital M for molarity. So big M equals moles divided by liters. So that's what I'm going to write down here. Molarity equals moles over liters. We want to find the molarity. Do we have moles and do we have liters? Well, for the moles, they told us that we had 0.444 moles. And for the liters, right, for the L on the bottom, this guy, they told us that we had 0.654 liters. The units are all cool, right? Moles divided by liters. So I'm just going to plug it in. We have capital M, molarity equals 0.444 divided by 0.654. And now just calculate it out. Capital M equals calc out. We have 0.444 divided by 0.654. And I'm going to use sig fig rules here. Right, there's three total sig figs, that's the lowest number, so 0 0.679. And the units for molarity, you could either do a capital M, that's acceptable, or if you want to just say that it's mole over liter, that's fine with me as well. Either one is an acceptable unit for molarity, and that's the answer here, guys. Pretty simple enough, right? So molarity equals moles over liters. And just know that a molarity is a unit for like a concentration or how, sh how much solute is in a solution. So yeah, the more molarity you have, the higher the molarity, the higher the concentration. And usually when you start getting into high concentrations, like especially like for acids, they're very, very, very acoustic and you know, they should be handled with care. So that's all that it is here, but here's the calculation and we're done. So guys, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments, click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you like, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.